Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening wherever you are in the flight simulator world, and welcome to another edition of Pip's Scenery Review, and today we're going to be looking at Bradley International Airport, located just north of Hartford, Connecticut, and ICAO code Kilo Bravo Delta Lima, and you can find this on the Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator Marketplace as well as simmarket.com and check this out. So without further ado, let's get underway. We're headed north uh, on runway 6 and let's take a look at things as we begin to take off. Now one of the first things I love in any add-on scenery is when they include the runway numbering as you can see to the left of how many feet you have remaining. So right now we have 8,000 feet and it drives me nuts when just one of those little details make a big difference. So you can see those numbers as we go down the runway. So we'll stick on the runway heading and I'll give you a little background of Bradley. Bradley's a commercial airport in northern Connecticut and also serves Springfield, Massachusetts in the United States. It is a beautiful area and is about 15 minutes north of Hartford, Connecticut. So if you want to do some plane spotting, you can check that out. In fact, if you want to click on the link right there, you can see plane spotting at Bradley that I was at. First thing you notice is we're headed north. If you look off to your right, you'll see a nice job of the Army National Guard facility. There you can see the helicopters uh, that was built and we'll make another pass across it. Let's make the right turn and look northeast. East, northeast. So we'll make a quick left turn, come back around, and Bradley serves a number of airlines including Air Canada. For a time they actually had an Aer Lingus flight from Ireland. That's gone away, but I know they're hoping to attract more international traffic. So as I said, currently they're serving American Airlines, Breeze, Southwest, Spirit, Delta, United, Air Canada, and JetBlue as well. And they have some international flights. Now, one goes to Cancun. I'm trying to remember where the others are. So now we're looking back down runway 24 almost. We're going to make a right turn over to the tower real quick so you can check that out. And then we'll pass by the Connecticut Air National Guard facility. So a lot of military work done here in Connecticut on the East Coast which is really cool if you're doing plane spotting and aviation traffic. Nice job there on the details of the tower. It's not one of those static things. And the other thing is, that's true. If you look at those buildings right there, that's a fire uh, fire training facility. And uh, I thought I'd point that out. I thought that was kind of cool when I was driving around. So you've got your cargo over here for FedEx and UPS. And as we slow down, if, if I can slow down a little bit, I'm going to let you uh, take a look at the Connecticut Air National Guard facility. You can see the static C-130s. Excellent job there in the hangar. And this complex is on the uh, west west side, I should say, north, northeast side, apologies, uh, of the airport. So that's pretty cool. We will make another left turn, come back, do a quick pass at the terminal and concourse area, and then we'll uh, make a 180, come back around to land on runway 6, so you can save things ahead of time. So the first building you see straight ahead, that is Bradley's International Terminal, and it's kind of unique because they only currently have one gate. So they're obviously looking to expand that in the future. But yes, that building right there is the terminal for the international traffic. You've got economy parking right there. And we'll make a right turn. And you'll see concourses A and B straight ahead. And off to the right, you'll see the Sheraton. So if you get stuck at Bradley, there is a hotel right on the property. And you've got your parking garage off to the right there. So two concourses, Bradley International Airport. They did a really, really good job with this design LVFR. Uh, 
the as far as I'm concerned I'm giving them five stars we still have a little bit further to go and I want to get you a little bit closer to the terminal but they did a really really good job I'm really pleased with how it turned out and you know what I'm just gonna make a left turn here and land on runway 33 Multiple ILS approaches in Bradley, which is a nice feature if you're a commercial pilot. So both 624 and I believe 33. So we'll make a nice soft landing here, hit the brakes hard, see if we can take a left turn, and immediately get off the runway. Another nice touch that the LVFR made was some of these static aircraft you'll see Southwest, the Boeing line, 737, so you got American United Southwest. Just a really good job. So again, there's the Sheraton Hotel right on the airport campus. And then you've got concourses A and B. Now in case you're wondering, uh, this was on sale and the marketplace is where I bought it. Like I said before, you can buy it in a number of places, but uh, I bought it on the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace. Another nice thing I like, the pad numbers or the gate numbers. So they've got that there in paint form on the tarmac or the asphalt or cement, whatever you'd like to call it. our way towards the terminal area so you can maybe zoom inside the glass windows right now the only kind of tr public transportation that comes out here is uh, bus service so again uh, if you look off to uh, right there if you can see the number 25 so they put that as well for the gate numbers which I think is a nice touch so here we can see inside Bradley nice open windows you can see the McDonald's the Starbucks and the Hudson News and then they've have some nice touches as far as the baggage stuff for Southwest and the truck just a nice touch so overall five stars for LVFR hope you enjoyed this video I just wanted to make not make it too long but give you a better idea of what you'd be buying if you bought the LVFR software on uh, either Sim Market or Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace. So for now, it's Pip signing off. Make sure you comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought of the video. But for now, we'll get you another video coming up very soon. Have a great day.